Alright guys, welcome back for some more Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire bonus part episode number 2. And we're going back to the last Trickmaster's trickery of evilness and creepiness of all creepy things. But he's basically going to be behind this cushion right here. Uh, so now for the essence of time once more, I'm going to have to speed things up for these puzzles. Because uh, we got more trainers to fight and I'm going to put some nice music on. So I'll see you when we get to the scroll door.
And there we go. Now that we've passed all this stuff, we finally talk to him again. But this time, he's gonna give us something else. But wait, what's this? He finally admits that we have out-tricked all of his tricks? Oh, this is too good to be true. I have to... Uh, he admits defeat. Oh my god, this is like the best thing ever. <laughs> oh man, I'm so happy to say that he's finally done. But in all aspects, he's kind of like one of those things in the Pokemon games that it's more like side quest things uh, between gyms. But other than that, he gives us a blue tent uh, that can be used for a secret base and such. And if you're playing on Ruby version, I believe he gives you a red tent. So, there we go. He's finally out of our sight at last! Woo! Never have to see that old man's face ever again, ever in this Let's Play. My god, that was annoying. But, there's also a little note on the door here. I'm leaving on a journey, so don't look for me, Trick Master. That always strikes me a question. Oh, and we're in Vandiver Town. Wouldn't you know? Alright, but I would never expect him to go on a journey um, of his own. Like, where would he possibly go? And, like, what would he do? Like, would he just trick somebody else? Or, I don't know. That's probably what he's best known for. So, <laughs> whatever. Alright, now for this part. The main reason why I want to make this. Um, I'm going to show you one quick thing uh, before we move on to the Pokemon contests is if we go all the way back to the last page you notice that some of his moves have like different things like cool, smart, beauty, tough and I believe uh, cute. I think that's the other uh, things here. Those are like pretty much the categories that um, determine what Pokemon you want to enter into the Pokemon contests. Like I, I honestly don't like remember much about the Pokemon contests so it's going to be a little bit hard to explain most of these things here, but I want to show you a couple things and the conditions of your Pokemon Navigator. Um, these pretty much show your conditions throughout these part, throughout your party members and other Pokemons that you've put Pokeblocks into. As you can see, uh, I gave a bunch of Pokeblocks to Swellow and just kind of boosted up the coolness because I'm going to probably enter Swellow into the cool category of the Pokemon contest. But the, the main Pokemon contest you want to start is the normal rank. That's where you want to register first. And I believe this is where you can get the Pokemon contest pass uh, to start off. But this is an um, interesting little machine right here that you can make Pokeblocks. I'm going to quickly show you how to make Pokeblocks here so that you can feed them to your Pokemon to enter them in contests. Because that kind of boosts up the attention of... Well, you'll see soon enough, but for now we're just going to learn how to blend. So basically in order to work this blender, um, there's going to be like a little arrow that you have to press the A button when it matches up with your name. So, But first off we're going to have to select a berry. And as you can see from these berries, uh, if you check the tags here, they'll give you like a little description of what they do. Um, now there's spicy, dry, sweet, bitter, and sour. Those are the five flavors of these berries. Some of these berries are going to affect different cool, beauty, smart, cute, um, tough, etc. So each berry does a little thing. I think there's more information on Cerebi.net for the for the information on berries. So I might again post a link down in the description for more information on that. But <laughs> what you want to do here, this is kind of like a little game here. Um, if you somehow get a, a circle, that just pretty much means normal. And if you get like a perfect, that's like this, this like a target symbol, uh, that pretty much raises the uh, speed of the machine here. I don't really know like what the goal is for this is to just basically finish the uh, machine uh, like so when that thing is full of meter. And it just gives you a little ranking and such. Wow, that guy did terrible. <laughs> you got like so many X's. X's pretty much just like slow down the machines, but whatever. So that's basically how you make a Pokeblock. And if we have the Pokeblock case, which I think you get the Pokeblock case. The, excuse me, the Pokeball. The Poke case thing. Uh, you get this in uh, Vandenberg Town, I believe. So there we go. And there we go. Now we have our coolness enhanced. And. So I was pretty much maxed out right now for, well not completely maxed out, but just overall ready for the contest. So let's go ahead and register for the first contest. Now, 
being that this is like the beginning contest, I already said this in my last part that I'm not going to do all the contests per se. I just want to show you the normal contest because that's just the, the beginning entrance into all. In order for this to work, you have to beat all the contests in normal first. And I believe then next is super, and then the next one is hyper, and then the other one is uh, the master contest, which is in Lily Cove City, but... That's pretty much the order of the contests of how they work, and you have to get all the ribbons from each category. Like, let's say if you entered all of your Pokémon in the cool categories, then you have to win this ribbon and then move on to the next... Uh, you have to move on to the super contests um, into the cool category. But here you can see right in the beginning, you notice that the audience has like hearts coming out of their heads. That just pretty much determines their placements of who goes first. Now obviously, if you feed your Poke Pokemon so many Pokeblocks, then that's gonna affect their that's gonna affect the audience's appeal situation. So it looks like we're pretty much deciding who goes first and pretty much know I go first, because I had the most hearts in the audience. Yeah. I think that's just how it works with these determinations of who goes first and that sort of thing. But now we're now going up to this screen, and as you can see, I'm first. Now each of these moves here have like appealing and jam effects. I'll explain a little bit about the appealing. Uh, what that means is if your Pokemon does a, a, a cool move, and you ha there's like a description of certain moves. Like as you see, I did Aerial Ace, and that kind of works better if you're first in the audience, or in the contest. And some Pokemons are going to be like jerks, and they're going to try to ruin your appeal with, with their jamming effects. Um, I think the, what I've noticed about Whis Whismur particularly, yeah, it tries to ruin the Pokemon's uh, concentration, I think. So that you can see, I lost a few hearts there. That's mainly what they're going to do. Now, if the Pokemon has like that circle thing in there under their name or whatever, it doesn't really uh, ruin their concentration. That, in other words, they can't get jammed. So that's what you're probably gonna have to try to do. Um, and there's also like some like different move combos that you can do if you have like uh, certain moves in your party. I mean, in your Pokemon. And as you can see now, on first. Now, there's gonna be like some Pokemon moves that allows you to go first all the time. As you can see, I did Aerial Ace, or not Aerial, I did uh, Agility, and I got first. So now, some Pokemons also have like moves where you can be last and um, be in the last place for this. As you see right there, Wismer did like a smart move. That was astonished, but that kind of distracted me a little bit. So, right there, uh, Makuhita, was able to go last, and I believe he has Reversal. Reversal kind of works good in contest moves, especially if you're last. Now, uh, Aaron does take down, but it's not really considered to be a cool move. It's more like a tough move, so to speak. Right down in the uh, little meter there, that's your heart meter. That's going to be like the judge's final decision. Um, the higher it is, I think the better chances of winning the contest. But overall, it's nothing really, but we are now first again, and I got uh, air release again. As you notice from the applause meter right there, if that thing's like full, then you're going to get more appealing from your Pokemon, and that's going to skyrocket your chance of winning. As you can see, I think Aaron's more of protecting itself, even though I don't think Aaron's is not going to win from this, so... <laughs> And Whismur's just like using smartness moves all the time, that's kind of not good. If the Pokemon's not using a proper move, it kind of lowers the audience's meter, and yeah. You, your goal is to basically try to build up the audience meter so that you can get more hearts in, your, in the contest. And I think there's like five rounds, so this is the second to last round here. As you can see, I'm not first anymore, but... I'm gonna probably use Wing Attack right here, because if the Pokemon does the same move of the same cool category, then uh, it's gonna be more appealing. So as you can see now, the audience is going crazy, and we get more hearts right there. And I'm gonna use Wing Attack, and you see it does the same type as the Pokemon, therefore it's good. Yeah, I don't really like don't know much about the combinations of each 
cool moves. Like, there's probably like a list on servi.net. Um, that gives you more information. So, as you can see, Aaron, I don't even see what Aaron did, but I don't care. And Hyper Voice. That's gonna jam us really good. <laughs> oh, well. That's, that definitely hurts Makuhita. Like, I always thought Makuhita was gonna win this. It looks like. Alright. So I think this is going to be the final round right here. You know, I'm not really doing too good here, but I did do pretty good in the audience, like, when it first started, that's why. You want to make sure you get enough attention from the audience uh, in the beginning. So, there, once more, I did Aerial Ace. And also, to, uh, during each turn, you can't use the same move twice. Um, it doesn't really give them much more appealing, but... It, yeah, just the judges won't count it. So let's see what other let's see what the others do. Screech. All right. So it's trying to startle us. That's what it means by the startle symbol right there, that little squiggly thing. But then uh, the judges don't like it, so they're like, too bad. <laughs> All right. Okay, he's just gonna use reversal. And I think I believe in the guide they have more information on uh, what kind of Pokemon's are good for certain. Um, conditions. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Makuhita's like getting a lot more attention. And that is it. Uh, let's see how I do. That's it for the judging. Thanks for all for the wonderful display of quality appeals. Alright, let's see how we do. Okay, the moment of truth. <laughs> I can't wait. So, I got four stars. That's pretty good. That's gonna put me in a big lead, probably. So that's the, pre the preliminary rounds, and then the next, of course, is going to be the second round results. Oh, looks like I'm going to win. I'm going to win this. Oh, I won. Oh, baby. I didn't think I was going to win this. I thought Makuhitsu was, because he has the most hearts. <laughs> so there we go. Wow. Even though I wasn't really planning on winning, but oh, well, I didn't even think I was. So that's great. Yay. <laughs> Everybody's just clapping their hands and screaming. I'm just going crazy. And there we go. For all of our rewards, we get a ribbon. And that's pretty much it. Wow. I can't believe it. That it's finally over. And there's like some sort of reporter guy that... If you talk to him, you pretty much get like... Nothing out of it. So... That is basically all that I'm going to be showing for this Let's Play. Man, before I go, I just want to quickly show you a couple things in the Pokemon Navigator that I don't think I've shown you yet. Um, in the Pokemon Navigator, there's like certain people that you registered, and if you see on the le the right side, there's like a little Pokemon box thingy. Um, you can pretty much go back to the trainers that you've met and rematch them, and their Pokemons get a little bit stronger uh, per every gym fight you that you completed. And then also I want to show you the ribbons here that I got. Yeah, I already, I kind of practiced and I did um, a little test on Muffin right here, and I got the cool bet, the cool ribbon for it. So, other than that, guys, I think, I don't think I have any more other things to say about this Let's Play, other than it's finally done. I can't believe it, so. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I am not going to be doing the Legendaries. Um, there's probably better sources out there, but... I just want to say thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. It's been fun, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.